Hey, it's Lily Richard and welcome back to my channel. If today is your first time here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I would love for you to join the family, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So in today's video, we're going to make something very simple, fast and quick and yet very delicious. We are going to be making rosettes cookies, also called sometimes Swedish rosettes or Chinese pretzels. Let's get started. As always, I'm going to present to you the ingredients for this recipe. We have here our eggs, right here. Our sugar, I'm currently using cane sugar. You can use any type of sugar that you're interested in or that you like. Our flour, just regular flour. You can use brown flour if you want. I'm trying to make this as basic as possible. Of course, when you use sugar, you want to balance that. So we're going to add some salt to balance that sweetness. I am also going to be adding some vanilla for flavor. You can use nutmeg, uh, lime, lemon, whatever flavor you want. Last but not least, your milk. I have here lactate milk. You can use whatever milk you want. So before we start, I'm going to get my oil ready because this is quite a pretty quick process. I want to heat your oil to 350 degrees. We're going to start by cracking our eggs in the bowl. And also open the description box to see all the measurements for the ingredients. Then along with that, we're going to add our sugar, salt, and vanilla. Whisk it together. Let's add our flour. You want to make sure you're not getting any bumps in it. That's why you want to add it slowly. And you want the batter to be as smooth as possible. So stiffen your flour. If you have another way of doing this without having to stiff your flour, your flour, that's fine. I keep saying flour, it's not flour, it's flour. They're so similar. But so the batter is gonna be is gonna start ooh, the batter is that is going to start getting hard. And this is the moment you are going to introduce your milk and you're going to do that at a slower pace. You want to take your time because you don't want to pour all of it. It might give you those little balls in the flour that you don't really want. This is what your batter to look like. It should be without any of the bubbles or balls. You could put this in the fridge overnight or you can use it right away. I'm going to use mine right away. So, let's check the temperature. I think it is ready. Perfect temperature. To make the rosette shape cookies, there's a special utensil that you need to use. In general, people use the one that is like iron. This is not plastic. It's pretty hard. Um, it's, this is one of the versions. This is not iron, but it's not like fully plastic. I don't know how to explain it. So I have here my lined plate with um, newsletter. This is good to absorb that oil. You can use paper towel, that's fine too. But I use this more often. Of course, you have your utensil for that. And we have our batter. So the process is that you dip this in the oil, remove a little bit of the oil, dip it in here, and you take it in there. I'm gonna show you that, how that works. And when you dip it, you wanna make sure that you are not dipping fully. You wanna do probably max halfway through this right here. If you're using 
is it plastic it's not plastic I don't know if it's silicone or plastic I'm not sure but if you're using this version make sure you do what I do so I'm gonna check the temperature again we are 399 which is good yeah it sounds a lot harder but it's not what well, it is but yeah so I'm just gonna take that out dip it and when you dip it you should hear it a little bit then as soon as I get that I just gonna, I'm just gonna hold it with an iron utensil within 30 seconds or so it will release from the utensil but because this is not iron it doesn't I found a way to remove it without breaking it well with more chances of it not breaking so I'm just gonna hold it here until it actually cooks it's a little longer with this so if you are able to find the iron just get the iron version so I'm gonna take my knife I'm just gonna touch it just a little bit to see if how it's moving yeah, I could actually push this and it's going to release. But by the time this releases, the color will have already changed to the brown. And I'm just going to leave this there to heat up while that just cooks. It's pretty much ready. You don't have to wait too long because, yeah. So by the time it releases, if you're using an iron utensil, you will have more time to fry it, but because it's not iron, yeah. So here it is, what it, that's what it looks like. I'm just going to put it on the side, let that oil just drain, and we're going to move on to the next one. And we're going. Just going to hold it there. The harder this is, the better, the best, the easier it is to release it. If it's not really hard, it's not going to release. This is actually practice. It takes time and it takes practice to get it going. Um, so I'm just going to use my knife to help it release. Make sure you keep it in the oil while you're doing this. You don't want it to be out because it has to stay in the oil. Once that releases, I'm going to leave this in there. golden brown just remove it you don't want it to stay too long cookie as you can see you can make quite a lot for, with the measurements with just one cup of uh, flour you can make a lot so I am going to add a little bit of some powdered sugar to it you can eat it as plain as it is you can add some powdered sugar or you can eat it with like ice cream I like my ice cream so we're gonna do some ice cream or you can just add some fruit to it and you'll be good to go Powder sugar, here we go. I don't want to put too much.
was telling you I like my ice cream so I'm gonna put some ice cream on mine this is how beautiful it looks with homemade strawberries papaya ice cream that's all I have for you today if you have not yet subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to always watch my videos till the end because I really appreciate it that's your way of supporting me or your way of showing support to this channel make sure to hit that like button if you like this video and also comment below if you've ever had this rosette cookies or if you've had this but it's called something different in your countries because I know in Cameroon we just call it cookies or galette it's a type of galette which is cookies pretty much um, but I never knew about this fancy name right so let me know if you've ever had this if you've never had this make sure to comment below if you're going to try it until then I will see you in the next video bye bye Mwah. it gives you a different taste it gives you a different experience and the ice cream is pretty cold so it's good it's like cookies and yogurt mm, the ice cream is really good this is also my homemade ice cream if you have not watched any of my ice cream videos, make sure to check them out. I have a few on my channel, I think two or three videos on how I make ice cream. Check those out. You can make this for like get togethers. It's very light. So it's, it's going to be really good because just with a little bit of butter, you can make a lot. This whole tray can fit up to 20 people i think i have about 20 here if so if each person gets one that should be enough and yeah